Helen Arney, she looks kind of barmy. No, you don't actually. No, that, that was that was supposed to be Helen Arney. Helen Arney, she has a ukulele that looks kind of barmy. And her own Heron Army. I don't know. Like, I know that's that. Genuinely, that's the name of an album. Some point in the future, Helen Arney's Heron Army. Uh, it's going to happen. It is going to happen. I like herons anyway. They're really good. They're what? very underrated as an animal. Imagine an army of them. That's how. It, that's what kind of impact we're hoping for. Not one, not two. An army of herons. An army of herons. herons. But I found out what the collective noun for a large number of herons is. A siege of herons. A siege, a siege of herons. So we're what? going to siege we're it. Gonna, we're going to take over Edinburgh with a siege of herons. Let's do it. Let's do it. You heard it here on Waffle TV. Yeah. Um, I'm Eleanor Conway. I'm guest presenting today. I forgot to add that bit when I was trying to uh, seduce Helen Arney on this sofa with my little songstress element with a sexy pleather <laughs> with my sexy pleather it is holding in the moisture it's holding in like cling film it's brilliant what's uh, what's the name of your show uh, well which one uh, i'm doing three i can't remember anymore not one not two but three <laughs> uh, the main one is called uh, helen arnie voice of an angle uh, that's not a spelling error that is a mathematical pun it's a show about maths and science uh, if you enjoy that pun the show will give you a large hadron Oh, a large hard on! Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the cameraman has literally just had a nerdgasm at that. <laughs> you turn your cameraman's a secret nerd, and he was just like, that was the best thing I've ever heard. Thank you very much. Well, well, brilliant. Right, we've got one for the show. Boom. I don't even know what that is. I've just turned really, really rubbish gangster. Is that like Fleming's left hand? No, no, no. But someone, taught me that, someone taught me that, and, that, and I was doing that, and I didn't realise it was two in the pinky, one in the stinky. And I was doing that in some tourist photo going, yeah, spring break. And they're just like that. Eh, she doesn't know what it means. That's but anyway, no, it's all good. Um, you've toured. You've done stuff with Professor Brian Cox, haven't you? I have. Um, that oh, he's so hot. He's, no, he's, a really, he's a really lovely man. And he's really smart, but um, he's really hot. He's a really lovely guy. And uh, one of the best uh, memories of that tour, it was me and Simon Singh, Robin Ince, and Ben Goldacre, and at one point Tim Minchin as well. And we had a, uh, a rehearsal on stage. I haven't actually known. We, we actually swore ourselves to secrecy. We weren't going to tell anyone about this. Um, but you are going to tell us now. We are going to tell us. Yeah, we had uh, um, Brian on the piano and Minchin on guitar. And uh, you, uh, Adam Rutherford, for some reason, the editor of Nature, science publication was on ukulele and we um we ran through dancing queen a couple of times so yeah that's what we got up to backstage on the uncaged monkeys tour none of this kind of science stuff we weren't talking about einstein's uh, theory of evolution i think i've got that one wrong um <laughs> it's definitely no darwin's string theory. i don't know i love that we just <laughs> i've done two shows today already i can't remember anything about science let alone my own shows um yeah that was what it was dancing queen oh we did a couple of good uh man we did take that uh want you back for good as well oh my that's god yeah, that's what we did that's oh my did. god you heard it in None first the science stuff was all like does he realize how hot, this will go back to you in a minute but does he realize how hot he is he's he's such a nice guy he is it's, I just wanted to yes or no answer. Does he know? I, I don't know. I've never asked him. I've, I've only asked him to play hits of Take That. <laughs> I don't know. I've never asked him. Uh, I don't know. I'll ask his wife. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Buzz killer. Um, cool. How the crowd's been for your shows? How's, how's it all going? Um, What's going on? Oh, it's been fun. I'm doing a free show at lunchtime called Domestic Science. Uh, it's like, that's with your boyfriend Rob, right? My boyfriend. Subtitle is Hel Rob and Helen break up live on stage. Uh, so that's been fun. Um, but that's been really good. It's a free free show, so people uh, just rock up to it. It's lovely. There's not much else going on at lunchtime. We have cake and balloons, and uh, it's a DIY science party. We do an experiment. We're doing a live experiment across the fringe. Do you, know, uh, do you know what I like? Do you remember like? Uh, do you remember that craze with the Mentos and the Coke? That's but that's my best yes. science. You know, you've seen on YouTube where people like usually yeah. spring break American kids, they just kind of put loads of Mentos yeah. in a yeah. bottle of Coke and then yeah. shake it up and oh, it, it explodes. Yeah. Well, what we do as part of the show, we do an experiment where um, it turns out if you put turmeric, you know, stuff that turns rice yellow, if you put that into noodles, they go bright fluorescent red, and you can use them as a pH indicator to find out whether your stuff in your house is acid or alkali. Uh, and we genuinely did this. Is why we're doing a show together. We did this on our first first date together we accidentally put some turmeric in some noodles and uh, spent the rest of the evening making a science experiment uh, and that's what we that's did. some weird weird ass nerd shared like, interests have you done that with like you know like I don't do that with potential dates what? you started it with the menthos and the coke but no you like it with red cabbage you know red cabbage you can do it with noodles as well it's very exciting you can have like a whole like dinner of, of science science dinner so it takes ages to cook dinner for us though because we have to cook two dinners and a control dinner so that we've got it's like proper science science dinner it's how we what it's how we operate so that show's going very well um, it's the last day today of our of my third show which is festival of the spoken nerd at the icc which is where we set fire to stuff on stage in the name of science that's good fun i play the doctor who theme uh on the musical saw uh through with a massive tube of gas on fire it's like 
<laughs> quite mental. <laughs> it's literally been the best fringe ever. Oh, Every day I get to set stuff on fire and hang out with my boyfriend and call it work. It's really oh, good. That's nice. <laughs> that's awesome. well, who would you? Who are you going to plan to see uh, this fringe? Just oh, quickly. So many people. Um, people I really want to see: uh, Katie Wilkins, uh, Sarah Pascoe, Carrie Lloyd, um, Gemma Arrowsmith uh, is absolutely wonderful. She's doing a show of sketches on the free fringe. Uh, everything from like Cheryl Cole uh, rewriting all of her um, adverts for hair products. You have to see it to believe it. It's very good. Um, and she does a whole sketch about Laika, the first dog in space. Aww. And it's the most funny and heart-wrenching thing you've ever seen. Like, that dog didn't come back. It's Aww. pretty sad. <laughs> Science isn't always fun, guys. <laughs> Uh, but Gemma Aris was wonderful. Uh, so I was just, I'm just not going to see as anything that I want to see. So I'm just, I'm just resigned to like just, just getting what I see, what I can. No, no, no. It's, it's well, it's, it's the nature of Edinburgh, isn't it? Love Katie Wilkie. She's actually going to be on my show tomorrow. Um, yeah, on the Friday. What days? What dates tomorrow? Uh, don't know. Tomorrow, Friday. It's one Friday in August. If you're watching this in the future, it's already happened. You missed a great night. But my show, Ed, Eleanor Conway's Midnight Rumble, is at midnight. It's a comedy chat show. Sit in a boxing ring, naturally. Uh, we coo, five to midnight. Uh, every night but the 15th. It's fun. Come. Do you want to do a quick plug to your show? Uh, well, my main show is called Helenani, Voice of an Angle. It's 6.15 at the Underbelly. Uh, and uh, you get a certificate on the way out. It's like the science class you wish you had in school. That's it. Uh, just before we go, um, uh, we had a question from uh, our last guest, which was uh, Donica from Peep Show. Yeah. And uh, he asked you this. I would like to ask them, um, have they ever seen a Peep Show or a sex show and what do they make of it? No. She's lying. No. Looks like a saucy one. <laughs> no. No, I think, um, I think it was technically called burlesque. Technically, not even, okay. Technically called burlesque. What did you make of it? Uh, I bloody uh, love burlesque that is funny. If it's funny, it's burlesque. If it's not funny, it's peep show. That's the answer. You've heard it here first. You can find uh, Waffle TV online, on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all the usual gubbins. Loads and loads of interviews. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. My name is Eleanor Conway and this, uh, this lovely lady is Helen Arnie. And for now, we'll see you later. Until next time. Cheers. Okay, so Helen Arnie, I need you to pose a question for the next spectacular mystery guest. What is that question? Uh, what is the one invention that science could give you that would change your life? Wicky question. Wicky question. Thanks very much. <laughs>